We're drinking out of a bottle. We're probably going to ruin it. Probably I'm going to ruin it. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Inside the Ant Farm, baby. Welcome, guys. So, uh, these bottles were opened with our reward, for, our medal for winning the Warrior Dash right here. This is a... Uh, Which doubles as a uh, bottle opener. So it has a little ribbon on it, too. I took the ribbon off because I wanted to show it off easier. So, the beer we're drinking is actually... Uh, it's one of those... I, I uh, I'm a big fan of uh, local finds, like like just like uh like going to a convenience store and finding a cool beer there. And this was uh this the one down by across the street from Price, right? Uh, it's mostly domestic crappy beers and cores and all this stuff, but they have a local brew uh from Baldwinsville, uh, the Goose Island beer. It's uh it's called the Three Twelve. It's their Urban Wheat Ale. It smells kind of good. We're gonna both be drinking this in a second, and first we got a Prost. 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 Let me get my notes here. So today we're gonna have a nice trending trailers for everybody. Oh yeah, trending yeah. trailers. Woo! Oh, well, uh, first we gotta do some. Lo we gotta clean up a little local local business first, remember? And uh, see how you doing? How are, how are you doing, buddy? How was your week? I'm doing great. I have to get up really early for work tomorrow, though. Which I'm not. I'm not used to. I'm used to either working very late or working like a normal. Why do you have to get up early? Because I have to go to this training thing that has nothing to do with me. So that if someone asks me a question about it, I can be like, yeah, this is what they said in the training thing that I was asleep during. Just like record on your phone and just go to sleep. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, plus, it's going to be during the time when I'm normally doing my own work. So I'm not going to be able to do my own work. Yeah. You don't have payroll yet. You're good. No, that's what I do payroll on Tuesdays. I thought it was Thursdays. Like Tuesday and Thursday. And you're going to top it off. You top, off, top off the little, you know, the, the Wednesday night, the th Tuesday night, and Thursday morning. Whatever. But hey, it's going to be fun. Why aren't you in the picture here, by the way? Let's move over a little bit. This is always how I am. Like, I'm always just off the side of my face. That's your fault. Off, I set the camera and you looked into it. No, <laughs> you are the one who set up with me here. Cry, baby. Jerk. So how are you doing, big guy? Nice um, shirt. I wore that last week for the podcast. 31, guys. You saw it. Yeah, but I actually had the beard that was on the shirt. Um... I don't see a beard on the I went shirt. to the zoo today with uh, Aiden. How'd that go? Uh, there was a million little kids at the zoo, but uh, the, all the animals were out, so usually when we go, like, the animals are sleeping or hiding somewhere, and the tiger's, like, right next to the glass and stuff. It was kind of cool. Like the, They had the elephants out feeding them, and so we got to see a lot of cool animals, and, of course, Aiden loves that stuff, so it was a twofer. Well, that's fun. And by the way, uh, this is it's, it's Monday right now when we're recording this, so I'll probably put this up on Thursday just because it'll give us a little time between... With the one we had last time. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So 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 you, you live for your child, I get it. That's cool. I do. Uh but yeah, let's get let's get it right into it. We got a lot of stuff, especially because we get the training trailers after this. But I, I just wanted to mention a few things that were happening uh in gaming T V news. The the biggest thing that you know well, at least for English and nerds, is uh the twelfth doctor was announced. Um and uh This is why I sit and judge you. Everyone <laughs> What? Who was he, Mike? You know his name. Come on. Peter Capaldi. And do you know what he was in? No, I don't. He was in an episode of Doctor Who already, and five episodes of Torchwood. Well, there's only so many English actors. Obviously, they've run out of English actors. Everybody's like, oh, I want it to be Rupert Grin, or I want it to be this guy, or Agent Elba. Oh, Rupert Grin would have been cool. Uh, also, the, the, uh, the dude who played his older brother in the movie... Uh, his he, oldest brother, the one who did the dragons, he's actually Brendan Gleeson's son. You know who Brendan Gleeson is? Yeah. Um, he was his son was the oldest Weasley brother. That he was like one of the people that everyone thought was gonna be a front runner. Didn't pick them. They instead of going. What about Aegis Elba, Matt? Aegis Elba or Judy Dench? Who said Judy Dench? A lot of people they were were rumored. She said if she was asked, she'd do it. Nah, I think that was them. Hey, we want a woman doctor. Hey, they said the doctor never sex change in like an interview in 1942. But uh, <laughs> That'd be funny. He's like regenerating. He's like, oh, gone. Go on! I have no winky anymore. Um, That's right. We watched a bunch of doctors regenerate before. That wasn't my so biggest I could, problem. I had any clue uh, the the pick was this guy named Peter Capaldi, uh, and he reminded me of a like a an older Mark Hugh Pumich. Laurie. Oh, I thought I, thought I, Mark I was Pumich. like an older, not quite as funny Hugh Laurie. But that was my my biggest issue was his age because I thought I personally thought they should have kept going younger because that's kind of almost how it seems to have gone through the years like it's gone younger and they could have made it into something like oh the doctor as he gets 
the more he generates, the younger he gets or something like that. I, I Is that why there can only be 12 regenerations? He only can have 12 regenerations, that's correct. Mm. Um, so I thought maybe they could work that in, but no, instead they got this guy who's 55. He's old as dad. He's 50, born 1958. Um, Geezer. He's already been on an episode of Doctor Who, uh, 2008, uh, with Dave, David Tennant. He would play a Roman guy. But but he's kind of an important role in that in that episode, so it was like, I've already seen his face. And they, this this isn't new to Doctor Who. They've actually... The girl who played Amy Pond was in the same episode. The same exact episode as that guy. Um, you got to pretend you like this. Okay? No, I am. That's why I'm you, smiling. No, that's, you're that's not it. even doing a good job of that. But anyway... I, I added some, some meat to this conversation. I said he looks like Mari Povich. But anyway, my issue with it wasn't his age. It was that he'd already been in five separate episodes of Torchwood. Like, he was a semi-prominent character, and he was a semi-prominent character in one episode of Doctor Who. So, you've already seen this guy's face okay. a bunch of times. But come on, like, Benjamin Cumberbatch Conver- has probably played at least one of his testicles. Like, who, who are you going to get in England that hasn't been in Doctor Who or Torchwood? I already mentioned, like, three names right there. <laughs> they could have even got Simon Pegg. At least it was like a, a, he was in there, like, season uh, one of the new the new series. Well, that, there you go. See, so, they could have got somebody else, but they went... Nick and Frost? Somebody could have been funnier, you know... I don't know. Yeah, but maybe we'll this see. guy will be great. Who knows? I, I'm, that's what a lot of uh, the the complaints about him. You're a Whovian. People had complaints about Matt Smith when he first came in because everybody loved David Tennant so much at the end. So, so what I heard too was there was poor writing for him originally. Like they didn't know how to write him. When they first I him I, lo- I love Matt Smith stuff. Like even from the beginning, I thought, wow, he's so different. He's crazy. He's out there. Like when Jess and I were joking around, and she was saying that he has music because he does this funny dance when he's dancing. Anytime he goes, he just dances his arms. <laughs> and he's like swing his arms there, and it's 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 endearing. And he's really good with kids in the in the shows. Uh, like I think he he connected with them better. This guy's gonna be different. But, uh... He'd probably be, like, really rude to kids and stuff. Or, like, I, I don't know. He could be... Get away, You ever kid. see the first Doctor? He's kind of a dick, you know? Uh, <laughs> he's, he's kind of an a-hole. Timey-wimey. He's kind of a D-bag, you know? So, we'll see what they do with it. But, uh... Uh, do you have any? Do you have any news, or am I just going here? I like. Uh, I actually like. Quest Nets, I like the, the uh, thrilling adventure I show. Uh, the Adventures of Colonel TikTok, which which basically is uh, their their spin on Doctor Who. Okay. Nice. Uh, I didn't write anything down. I just wrote the main well, you thing. Had, you had that thing, so. Oh, the EverQuest next to me, because I know old folks like us played uh, played uh, the MMO EverQuest. That's how I cut my teeth on MMOs. That was actually I never really played the first EverQuest. I played a little bit of the second one, but I remember that was like one of your your games back in the day. That was that was the game that ruined my GPA. Most like <laughs> that and booze, I think, ruined my GPA. You wouldn't say Dark Age of Camelot. No, because I I pretty much had stuff under control by Dark Age Camelot. But like I was I like when I first got that I was like whoa you can like be online it's persistent there's people all over the place and did I play anything back then I don't even think I played and also it was horribly punishing to the fact where you like you would die and you'd be like I have to run across this zone that took me like 15 minutes to get across and get my body but I'm naked and I have to run past all these things that I just barely made it past with armor and like. Yeah, that's why I remember I fell in a well once and I could never, I couldn't get my body because I couldn't get down. The it's well. like all the stuff I earned ever is down there. Great. Yeah, so but this is this is me for the WoW generation, basically for because WoW itself is at its lowest point ever. Well, WoW's a lost. I, mean, I don't know if it's about to go out, but it's 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 not going. It's still going to be around for a while. I mean, it's they still got, they, the pandas didn't work. It still has so, like uh, five main subscriptions, but it used to have seven Warriors. main subscriptions. You know, because well, they're trying to bring the kids back in. You know, have, have kung fu panda and stuff. <laughs> but but yeah, so Evergrass no, Next is, no, is basically no. they, like the graphics even kind of look the same as they look a better version. Well, of, did you hear about uh, one of the things? There's two different things I heard that sounded very cool, interesting, or horrible. I'm not sure which. You mean completely destructible environments? Completely destructible environments, like the environment can never be saved, and you know there's going to be dudes that go around and try to just break everything. Yeah, what about my when I build my lion's pride in up, and they're going to be kicking that thing down? I feel like that's a bad idea. I don't. That's just me though. I have a feeling that I kind of like it, but I, I, I like okay. Whatever like, happens is going to be sharded. Just destroying I feel like mountains and stuff like that, and put the, all the dudes on one server. Like you're a dude, you go on that server, have fun. You can have a, a flat wasteland of just nothing. Maybe, maybe there'll be penalties for like blowing up town or something. <laughs> well, here's another thing I read uh, when I was looking oh. at the stuff. You could, if you want to live somewhere, you just put your flag down anywhere in the game, and you could build a house there. That's your patch of land. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere in the game. They basically like, want to make it. Hey, I want to be like next to this volcano. Blop. There we go. Yeah, which is great because you build this nice house up and then some dude comes by and just smashes it down. Like, great. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, so you can be a hermit. I, I, I like that actually. You can be a hermit or you can be like make a city with your guild or something. That kind of sounds yeah. cool. But. That's like, uh, like you can do that in um, Age of Conan. 
you do that in the, and certainly in Star Wars Galaxies was one of the best things about that game. That that like you could take your guild, you could just car- kind of carve out a space. Uh, you don't have to really you don't buy the land. You just would, would basically buy the house and then. I put remember down that the part land. actually. I remember that. that. And there were some creative, beautiful places that were and and like you know they would uh, have guilds attack other guilds. That would, uh, I thought it was really cool. Hopefully, there's stuff. not too many dudes in this one. Yeah. I just, I just would like to. I, it's something I would like to beta, you know, like just beta, to see yeah. what what they're, oh, what's going on with it. I mean, from whatever it's talking about in the initial alpha phase, the graphics are. Well, no, it looks, it looks gorgeous. They have a lot of. They actually have a lot of um, tech videos online and stuff, which look cool. But um, it's. I, I'm kind of out of the fantasy game world thing myself. I, I'm, I'm more. I, I'm going more towards like futuristic stuff and like modern stuff. You know what? I'm more of the. I've been playing a lot more futuristic dystopian. You know. I'm going back and playing Mass Effect Two because I forgot I owned it and it was on my other PS3. and three. I saw you. I saw you playing on uh, on the well, PlayStation Three. Well, I, creeping I went, on you. I was creeping. I went back to play two so that I could have a better, a more enriched game in three because you know if, if you just play three without playing two or one, there's nothing to go on. It's yeah. like yep, there's none of the people that you like are here. <laughs> but, go, but after playing three, it's so hard to go back and it play is. one. No, I agree. Oof. I would never go back and play one, but there's no one for PS3. Like the controls are so terrible, I forgot. <laughs> Even two is, is kind of tough. There's a lot of like rolling and moving out of the way of stuff. Like I'm really good at three shooting stuff, but it's, it's a lot harder to lock on to well, stuff. Because like, by three they had streamline, which and I'm, they keep I'm also playing four. in adept, which I've never done before. Which is weird because well, I'm always like a vanguard. I'm like like Adept a meat, is the best a, a class, meat dude. shielder with a little bit of power. You know? Adept, you're just throwing bones. You're like, ah! I see. I, I'm more Throw, of a I'll shoot you in the face somebody person. Up. See, I rather I don't yeah. even use, I like as my adept. Uh, I didn't even use my guns at all. Almost. Yeah. See, I I'm having a hard time. So I'm so used to just shooting people in the assault rifle. Well, Stupid. because also biotic combos are so great in that game where where you and you, you know you do a pull and you lift them up in the air and then you blow oh, them up with oh, it. Oh, I've been doing it. You know, it's just oh, beautiful, yeah, beautiful yeah. things. Or you come with a shockwave and you might as well fly away. I I love the singularity and uh, it's one of my favorite things in Mass Effect Three. Yeah. And I really want to get yeah. And they, they hit him with, and just hit yeah. with a warp. And then I got get my Carnaflex, uh, you know, my big gun out and one in the head. Just See, get, I don't even do that. I just saw. Yeah, I like that. I, like I just him. I just saw a warp. I think it's my way of uh, uh, of staying with the gun. See, got split. I got so. Um, the way of the gun is what you play by. And then, uh, I'm trying to think what Assassin's why I wrote, Creed. I gotta think why I wrote this down. Because they're making Assassin's Creed. Oh, oh did you know that the no. voice of Ezio is actually the same voice as the guy in uh, Arkham Origins? The guy that plays Batman. Yes, I did know. Same that. voice, yeah. yes. Um, here's the thing, though Assassin's Creed announced, somebody asked them, you know, okay, do you know where this is going? And they said, whenever this game ends, we know exactly how it's gonna end. I doubt it. I think that's, you know, most. <laughs> Mass Effect 3 didn't, obviously. You know, that was the problem with Mass Effect 3. It's like, Juggernaut! Yeah! What? 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 No, but they knew exactly. It was going to be a little kid that was the Citadel the entire time. <laughs> and he's like, choose red or blue. By the way, spoiler alert. Spoiler, we just spoiled it. <laughs> red <laughs> or blue. But honestly, don't play the end of Mass Effect 3 ever. It's worth it. Play all of it, and then when you get to the end, just turn it yeah, off. Yeah, the game itself is amazing. It's, it's, like, it's the exact same thing as Battlestar Galactica, another space dystopian op- uh, epic. Uh, great... All the way through the last episode, terrible. He gets to say goodbye to everything, and, and then you get to the little kid, and you're like, like, like the end. The end of this game is so notoriously terrible that they redid it twice. Like that's how bad it is. Didn't they give you the third color? And they're still bad. Like it's still yeah. horrible. Well, first they give you like here's a co- another color, and then they're like, oh, you can now choose not to do anything and just die. Like, wow, you guys are dicks. <laughs> hey, if you don't like these endings. Fuck you! Yeah, you're that's dead. Dead. Literally, what was this like? Well, I don't want to choose any of this. Well, you get to do that now. Like, okay, I choose no endings. Oh, the rapers murder us all. They're like, no, no, don't worry. We'll let you redo the ending. You want to do do nothing? You're dead. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's literally what happened. And they smushed your ice cream in your face. They're like, they might as well have that little the little the little ghost kid smush ice cream in your face. No, stop it, ghost kid. I'm scared to have a shepherd. I'm the best ice cream on the set <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, so supposedly they, ha- they know where exactly where it's going, and you know what? I was hoping they did, because if you played these first three, that well, five really Assassin's Creed's, but the first three, you know, main ones, um, what, where are they going? I, saw, I read that, I honestly, Matt, I read that and said that's complete bullshit. 
I hope they do. Because they're just, of course they're going to say that. Well, but, it, but they're, they're like, oh, this is a freaking cash cow. I'm not going to stop doing they're, this. They're going to they're gonna have the 18th century night. They'll probably go to like the 21st century. Now you can see in the future with the animus. I, 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 hey, I, would, I would like to see like... 23rd century. I, would like to, I, I think it'd be cool if they did like a World War II. That'd be cool. I think they will. Like, I think like climbing through I think them, like they a, might do like a steampunk. Machine gun. I'm, thinking, I'm feeling like a steampunk type guy. I've already seen that like uh, they have an Indian guy... Supposedly there's these in the there's, comics. Yeah, there might be a black guy. assassin too somewhere in the in the in there too somewhere. Well, they have know. a half black assassin already. Army star. No, they have a half black female but... assassin. She did uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation. Oh yes, yes, and she is. Uh, there's like not fully black. She Don't get worried, be, people. She might be a playable <laughs> character in. No, she she is. The, She's yeah. not playable. Um, what they're doing is they're giving her like extended missions. I think yeah. if you pre-order or something, you get her. Oh well, I will then. Cause I, that, I think that'd be fun. Well, she, supposedly her game was really good. It was it was a little yeah. stunted because they did a thing where um, she did all these tests and stuff, but she had forms. So like one was like, oh, the lady form, so she could like get past guards and like mm, I'm pretty, but she couldn't do anything else. And those ones she was like a slave form where she could like like I'm a slave, so I can get in like the back door of places, but I can't fight for some reason. And then, and then the assassin form where like I can't do those other things, but I'm I just fight. Be the assassin like, form the whole time. Though. Yeah, that's like that's annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna sneak past you. I'll stab you in the like, face. I'm gonna go change in this phone booth, not the, the lady. Doesn't assassin also sneak? I don't. Okay, well, and can an assassin get in disguise as well? Like I could still hide my cool. If I have to, I will stab everyone dress. in the face. I don't yeah, care. I don't, you know? Whatever. That game it was not a good sneak game. Last of Us was the game that made me want to sneak. So okay, let's, or let's get to our trailers because we're already like. Because we're running Deep long in. in the tooth. Okay. So we, th uh, this week, I was, we said training trails, and we're going to give them to you. This is some different ones that I don't think we've done before. I'm hoping so. Uh, we're, we're basically going from uh, Friday, really, until uh, the end of the year. Uh, should some, we start with the Friday one saw. first? Yeah, no, we should. We'll start with Elysium, yeah. So Elysium's the first one. Elysium, people. It looks... I don't know what it looks like. It looks bananas crazy. I want to hear I, yours because I really want to see this. I, I put weird, weird robots uh, in the future and because uh, they have that one weird... Uh, in the trailer we watched, we watched an extended trailer of this one. Um, you can find it on Yahoo Movies. That's where we found all these trailers, actually. Mm. Um, I put joking with robots. Is my first In time. the future, robots break your arms for joking with them. Yeah, and like, like he's like, <laughs> I'm going to joke with a robot. Why are you doing that? No. Why would yeah, but he's like, but then he just jokes, and the robot's like, bloop, no, that's what you get. And it's like, hey. No, because he wants to search harsh. his bag, man. He's going to search harsh. his bag for his contraband. That he can't just scan because he's a robot. Like, yeah, can't I don't just know. scan that because you're a robot? I don't know. I guess they got the crappy robots down there. Like, yeah, you're a robot. Um, I don't get that. I also said, uh, take some pills, bitch. <laughs> and that part of the trailer where he just throws the pills on. He's yeah. like, you will die in five days. Yeah, so there's just... a lot of things like, like if you <laughs> look, when you live on Earth, it's basically a dystopian hell and you're, you're like, you're getting like food vouchers and you're working crappy jobs. And, and the for exact some reason, opposite. Even though they have robots, like, that could easily work these jobs. They're still making humans work, like in in well, a radiation maybe that's the only field. Job they got it doesn't something. make any sense. Though. That's like the only jobs they got. I well, you'd have to. I guess you have to see the rest of it. But basically, it is shitty on Earth, yeah. and it is the exact opposite in this yeah, wait, space wait, station see, in, the, in the Citadel. The only thing, the only thing I'm worried about with this movie is it feels like it's very on the nose. Like Neil Blomkamp's like, look, it's dystopian. It's supposed to mean that the differences between but classes. We're like, I get it. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. That's how it was. But District Nine was elegant. It felt. It didn't feel like that. Give you know, this baby a chance. Well, here's, I, I'm not here's what I heard. See it. Here's what I heard. It. Like, it feels a lot like, especially with Charlotte Copley as like Kruger. I told like, you, I'm a bad guy. I told you like, he was originally oh, supposed to play Matt Damon's part, right? What? No. Originally, it was a South African rapper. Because he was, he was going low budget, just like he did District 9, low budget. And someone said no. And, no, no, the South African rapper didn't want to do it. Then he said he asked Eminem to do it. He wanted Eminem to be that part. Okay. And Eminem said no. But then somebody's like, hey, I got money. And he's like, okay. And, Matt Damon. And he got Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like kind of like a rapper. Matt Damon. Was, Matt Damon. He looks like a white rapper. He's got his he, balls. He looks like Eminem with on steroids. Um, yeah, on some roids. Uh, I like the suit idea. I like that he's like like they drill the suit into his body. Okay, what I also didn't like is they're they're they're, they're well the two guys have the suits that we'll we'll put that aside for a second. In this utopia that is Elysium. That one chick is outside tanning, and she has like horrible skin cancer. There's something going on with her. I like, like, okay, so you're, you're, you're in like no, yeah, but they like, get rid of like this lump of cancerous cells, and it's like, where do you live that the sun is that bad? And and like, if you're on Elysium, could they like put some kind of filter on there, like some kind they of like fix it? You can get everything fixed there. Man. Yeah, but that's that's horrible. That means she had to live through having her face burned with cancer. Obviously, it didn't hurt. She's radiation. She's chilling. She's like. 
And I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, by the way, it doesn't feel nice to have cancer. I bet I'm, I'm betting, especially even skin cancer, not, it doesn't feel nice. Even just for Maybe a couple they seconds. Maybe they got good drugs up there. That the place is awesome. I, I, I want a drug dispensing robot. Especially because they're really colorful. They look cool. I just want them to throw drugs at me. I, I feel like it was like a rave. Like a rave. Like, a, like ecstasy and stuff. You have allergies, Houston. Yeah. Is there a technician? Oh, thanks. Oh, okay. Why did you, you throw that at me? You don't have to toss it. you cool it down a little bit? <laughs> don't toss it. Okay, so the suits. You, you, a lot of you talk about the suits here. I dug the suits. I liked them. I thought they were cool. The exoskeleton. Like, they make them stronger. They make a you know, more mobile, quicker. I think Chartol Chartol looks badass. Chartol so Copley like is the uh, the dude from District Nine, the main, like the character, main character from that, yeah. And he's a Prons, he's like, a, he's he's like the bad guy, uh, kind of like an assassin of some sort. Looks like and his name's Kruger. Yeah, mercenary maybe. Yeah. He looks pretty badass because it's like MTV Kruger. He, he has he has a matte beard. He has my old beard going on. It's, it's, actually, actually, it's deeper and darker. It's just like whoa. well, because he he, 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 also, he could have foods maybe in there like he's like sandwich. Yeah, yeah that's how he survives. He just survives off <laughs> things in his beard. It's like, how do you eat? And he's like, mm. that's how you know he's the bad guy, though, because he's like, eh, beer. And you're like, I get it. You're the bad guy. Okay, cool. He looked pretty badass. Yeah, let's, let's go to the next one. I, I'm liking it, though. I'm I want to go to Catching Fire because I have nothing written down for that. <laughs> we should watch the Catching Why? Fire. We watch the Catching Fire trailer. And Why? I, I, I liked the first, um, you know, the first, uh, what's the name of the movie? I can't remember. <laughs> the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. The Hunger, the Hungry Man Games. The Hungry uh, Man Games. I watched the first, <laughs> and I, I was okay. It wasn't great. It was good. I, I liked it. I thought it was good. I liked the books a lot. So, I mean, maybe that's why. See, I liked the books also, but I also thought there was some stuff that was really cheesy in the books. You didn't get like to the the muttons. You didn't get to some of the parts yet. Okay, I read the first. I'm just talking about the first book. Just okay. The okay. muttons, Matt. Come on, the muttons. Spoiler they're, for the book, guys. <laughs> Spoiler for the book. They're dogs and mutants at the same time. Come on. Yeah, the dogs and people and the mutants. DNA slice. They call them people. muttons. I didn't say they had a good name for you know. It's a it's a teenage plus, now. plus if you're if you're gonna do it, Peter, come on, man. Peter, I just like just, saying Peter, and just get so mad at me. You might just want to cut Peter, cut off the guy's nuts because no. Lupita. I, I um, mean, I'll, I'll watch it. Jennifer Lawrence. He's named after the. Gorgeous. You didn't notice he's named after the girl from Man on Fire, played by Dakota Fanning. <laughs> Name the bad Peter Creasy Bear. <laughs> Name the bad Creasy Bear. Um, I put costumes. Lots of fun costumes. There's a, well, that's kind of what I'm her, her the stylist, stylist, played by Lenny Kravitz. Is it the three fingers, kind of three fingers like this. One of the I've, I've, it's the scouts, scouts on her. That's scouts on her, right? District Twelve. Um, or, or we just gave you Dan some Buckley. kind of clan sign. Dan on Buckley. Her. That's scouts on her, right? Look at he's not watching. He's not watching. He's not watching. Um, yeah, no, um... Did you, did you write down anything for this? You I, I didn't, but I, I've watched the trailer. His, his paper is blank. It's blank. That's what he has in the paper. There's nothing on it. <laughs> I got something on the side. No, uh, uh I, I, I'm feeling... I like the character choices, like, uh, the guy who's playing Finnegal Dare and, uh, uh... Yeah. <sighs> Didn't get there yet. There. <laughs> Not there. Uh, I'm like talking. To, I'm like talking to a child. This is go there. Just the wonder. His I'm name there. is go there. Um, stop. Finigo there. I'm, we're trying to do this. Dude. We're trying to do this. Stop. Um, uh, I I like that. The, you know, I showed a lot of the term all this. <laughs> Dude. You're not even drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was drunk. It's like uh, it's it makes so much more sense. that's going to happen, uh, and it's it's the Empire Strikes Back of the series, uh, in the way that it's there's a lot of turmoil that is going to be resolved in the third one. Now, if you can, is Finnegan Dare like is he part of the Cantina Band or? Is- <laughs> <laughs> he is one of those Biff guys. Uh, <laughs> with no there. No shirt on. <laughs> he actually has a name. Let's that. just move on. Um, Maybe watch that I one. I don't know. So we turned that trailer I somehow. So much. I, uh, I, uh, what was it? A uh, Lord 50, uh, Anchorman 2. Let's just do it. What did you think of that trailer? James Marsden. James Marsden said that's kind of cool. Shit. I love, I love James Marsden. I, I was, I think it's interesting. I'm story. interested to know what, what they're doing with Victoria Corningstone. Of Veronica Cornish. Veronica yes, Cornish, yes. yes. I'm sorry. Well, I saw that they, like, she's out of the movie for... But she was uh, in the movie. A bit. Yeah, like, they showed her I don't her know, there. like, he... Did she get killed or well, something? I, or did th- I, th- I heard before that they were divorced in the beginning of the movie. Okay, well, that And this is sense. something I heard even before they started filming idiot, the you know? movie. I heard that, like, they got divorced or they had broken up or something. Uh, so it shows them with the other... With the, with the, uh, with the black girl... And this ra- uh, the racism. There's like weird sophomore racism that's going on the whole. I think that really killed the trailer for me. I yeah, was really no, the trailer. Here, until like, I'm like, 
Same here. I was, it was, I was just over the top sophomore. Yeah, and it wasn't really even, it was just like, it was dumb, like tropes. Like, and they could have left it in the movie. So and you no would have probably laughed at it there. It but might, in the trailer, did, it was just stupid. It was like it, pandering. And it might, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It might be funnier, like in context, but yeah. it's just like, I've heard all these things before done better, and they're just making Will Ferrell spat out, like, racist. They're making Ron things. Burgundy look but like. But there's black people around, so it's okay. You're like, okay, we get it. He's Ryan Burgundy. Yeah. Um, I, Brick's thing in that one, not the trailer. And Kristen Wig in that. I'm hoping she's all right. She's I, gonna play Brick Scrub. I don't like that she's Brick. I, I thought she's Brick. I, I heard at first that she was gonna be she's uh, Brick. Uh, she's gonna be a regular lady that was dating Brick, and I thought that would have been cool to see them interact. You know, she would have been like oblivious to the fact that he was a moron. Well, but no, she looks that. like a moron. She just looks like a moron That's too. True. So I'm like, okay, a Brick with Brick. Okay, <laughs> this movie we play witches. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That part right there, but I was like, Brick, okay. Brick has always been consistently funny. Like, like this is the part where I where I say something as well. <laughs> Steve, Steve Carell hates playing that character, by the way. But I he, can but, imagine. But he's so but he's great. He's so at good. It. He's yeah, so good. good. Okay, so let, let's just keep going. Let's keep rolling. I just said, and eh, eh, I was ruined by that 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 racist ish scene. I don't know what it's supposed to be. How about Matt? But speaking of racist, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. I want to do American Hustle next, but um, we'll do Hobbit. I want to say that for last because I, cause I, I really the like this. That's the one I like the best. A Benedict Cumberbatch. They're going to desolate, they're going to like just bend over. No, leave me, leave me alone. Smog! Leave me alone. Okay, so there's sexy elves and fruity elves. That's what I put. Don't Evangeline almost, Lilly. That's half of what I wrote for the Elf was made up just for this. And I approve. Thanks, Evangeline Lilly. Because she is myself. literally an elf already. So she is literally an I elf on Earth. Like, where have you been? Where have you been? She's Canada, probably. And they sent her back there, probably. You know, A, she like... Yeah. Well, she's from Canada. Canada. That's that's a, I know. She, she, she must miss filming Lost. She was there like on day six or something. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> that's why you shouldn't be Canadian. Another reason. Do we have any Canadians that watch this? Probably not. Yes. Uh, no. Do we, we have any people that watch this? We're huge in Canada. Probably not. Yeah, well, that's, that's fine. Uh, we're, we're good on time. Uh, so I so the other okay. things are right, we're orc guy. Yeah, the orc guy's back, and he's another guy that was made up. Do you watch for, first what for the movies? White orc. He's white and he's, he's an orc. Got, he's got a giant fork for a hand. That's an Edward cool, scissor hands. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Well, you get he basically got his hand cut off, and he went. There we go. If high we hand. if we have a hundred percent less Radagast, I'm cool with that. I, I'm sure he will show up somewhere, and he's not in that part. I don't even know if he's he's mentioned in that. He has mentioned the Hobbit. I actually liked Radagast until I saw that first movie. I was like, "What is he? What is going on with? Him? Why is he I in this movie so right much?" He's goofy and eclectic, but I didn't like the rabbit sled pulling mm. thing scene. I, I, so, hate um, the, I hate that. I hate that. Um, uh, I get the juice. My, on my friend, face. my friend Christian, uh, who watches uh, one of our fans. How you doing, Christian? He's, he's behind though. Whatever. You'll see this in like five months, dude. But you, I'm calling you out. You'll see um, right before the Hobbit. He, he's like, no. He's, he's like, he just saw the Hobbit with the, his sister, like on, on, on video, and he's like, oh, I saw your, I saw your, your uh, review for it, and I remember you talking about the rabbits and Radagast. I'm like, yes, because they suck. Like, hey, it's 3D. We got a 3D budget. 3D like, I have a rabbit pulled sled. This is going to be interesting. Let's do it for 15 minutes. No, no, no. Please don't no, do nobody that. Nobody asked for this. <laughs> it's like, what? You you said more rabbit gas? Let's go, rabbits. Uh, I'm the homeless wizard that eats garbage. Uh, I do math, and so do my rabbits. That's what I can pull my sled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but come on, this um, is your thing, man. You need okay, to, you need to I'm, a, I'm excited about it just because I'm excited about it. But I like the trailer. I thought it showed a lot of cool things. It showed uh, basically what this is going to be is most, <laughs> if not all, of the <laughs> the book will be in this next movie. Will be the rest of it. I don't know if it's going to have the the five the fight of the five armies or what. I think it's what's called. Um, it's not. It's not gonna have the the, the five for fighting armies. <laughs> I can't stand, I can't stand to fight. fight. No, it's gonna have. Um, it's gonna have the the basically the orcs are gonna face the men and dwarves. In a, in that's a, only in sounds a like three grudge armies. match. No, but there's a couple different armies of dwarves. Uh, and then the, just the men of Dale. Um, it's just the men of Dale. Everyone else. Yeah, no other men even care about this fight. They're well, like, you saw the that's why it's a lonely yeah. mountain. It, nobody goes there. Uh, <laughs> it's lonely. There's like, I guess we'll help you. Really, yeah, like now we're here, I guess. Get up some more. Um, but no, I like the trailer. I I am not. I I am all right with them using like we'll so. So as a not reader of the books, is there going to be Boromir? There might be. Who the hell knows? He's not in the book. <laughs> is but he alive? No, no. Yeah, I don't think he's alive. He might not. I'm a kid. Oh, no. They might throw him in there. It's Aragorn. Boring. I've heard Aragorn will be in one of the next two movies. Well, that could make sense because he's, he's he's young. Lives longer. Yeah, he's, he's young too. He's he's at, he's alive because it's fifty. But are they going to use Viggo Mortensen for that? Because he's kind of. I don't know. Older. He's I don't know. Much younger. I don't know. 
kind of looks They might make him like pull his skin back or something. Yeah. Uh, it's me, young Richard <laughs> Hilligan. Me. I got Botox for this, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he'd do it too. He's, he's a very uh, um, he gets in character. You know? I, I'm, I want to see what what they're gonna give me, but I'm excited about. It. I like Benedict Cumberbatch uh, also as the voice of Smog. I want to hear what that sounds like. Cause he's got that I bet it sounds like a dragon. Deep rolling. I just put dragon. When he, when he I was like, yeah. Oh, maybe he'll be the regular Benedict Cumberbatch. Looks like this. And, uh, he's like a uh, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, he's like a he, like, like a like a lit watered down Hugh Grant. Um, <laughs> okay, American Hustle. See American this. Hustle. See, I was excited. I, I really like this trailer was stylized. It had some cool music in it. It had some Amy Adams boobs hanging out. Yeah, that was, that some, was very some... cool, this trailer. Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams. Yeah, and, oh, what, oh, how man. can you go wrong with this? And, oh, Cat, Cat, and, and Lois Lane. And you got Batman and you got uh, the guy from... From Southern Lions Playbook. Yeah. <laughs> He's quirky. Uh, so so yeah, I firm. actually actually read the the synopsis for this movie, so I can okay. type. I, I need this. It's uh, it, it's your movie. It, it's a similar synopsis. It's yeah. You know, I did pick this movie because I I thought it looked interesting. I but it's uh, a con man and his partner get turned by the American government to basically get other con men arrested. So it's like a white collar the the movie. Yeah, kind of. I, I mean, in the seventies, in the seventies. Yeah, obviously. and nobody's gay, and nobody's. Delicious like Matthew Bone. Yes. Mm. Bone. Uh, I bone him. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I go see it. I like it. I, it this it trailer's looks, really and, cool. I like this. I like the Russell, theory piece. The, David Russell is a good director. Yeah. And, and I, I like his writing too. So. Um, yeah, I like the I like the setting and stuff like that. So I think it could be cool. It could be. Um, like American Gangster, which has American name. Yeah, uh, it could be something like exactly. that. Exactly. So that's how you know because I it's got American name. And, and, and it all, Team American World Police. I mean, just think of it. Is there an American movie that's that's it's got American? Good? It's not good. Yeah. Okay. Think about it. American Psycho. Name one. American Psycho. Exactly. Great. Um, American. I can't even think of one. Gang, gang, got. Uh, yeah. Nothing. American Gladiator. It's a great show. American Ninja Warrior. Another great show. I got. I got. Is that on Hulu at all? Um. Yeah. I. It probably is. That's that's our uh, that's our surprise trailer, American Ninja. <laughs> okay, that's that's everything. We did it. We did it. We made this it is really manic. I think we're on cocaine right now. What's going on? Oh, we are like some weird. We're we a drug free podcast besides why. the beer. Usually, if we're drunk, we're like, yeah, let's talk slow and about Ghost. nothing. Uh, so Instead, we're like, let's talk fast and about nothing. <laughs> so thank you. Next uh, week, next week, you know what we should do next week? I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes. I think we should do stuff we're listening to, whether it be podcast music. We should bring that up. We haven't done a listening podcast. I'll just sing blurred lines for like fifteen minutes. Then. You could. I know you want. Ding, ding, ding. You could just bang on about. I don't know what you're singing. Either. Blurred lines. You don't. Uh, Robin Thicke, Pharrell, no. Alan Thicke's son. Okay, I knew that. I got that part. I got oh, that part. It's me. I made a son who's an R and B singer. Anyone? <laughs> Does he sound like that? I wish his... he sounds completely different. That's why I'm like, hey, how I'm did you make him? Song he kind of looks like him. It's like, oh, okay, people. Unfortunate. Hey, thanks for stopping by again. Listen to our garbage podcast. It's beautiful, and we love you. We love doing it. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. People, we love you. Good night.